What up, what up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Fitness Tech Reviews, we're gonna be going over the Fitbit Premium Smart Bands. Starting with the Charge 5, we have the Versa 2, the Versa 3, and the Fitbit Sense. I'm gonna make this video short and sweet to make sure you know the differences between all four of these bands and pretty much which one's best for you. But let's go ahead and get right into it. two bands in my hand is the Charge 5 and the Versa 2. The Versa 2 is very similar to the Versa 3 and the Sense, with the Versa 3 and the Sense looking pretty much identical with a little bit bigger of a screen, but looking pretty much the same. There's a lot of similarities between all the bands. They all have the Fitbit app. As long as you have Android 8.0 or iOS devices 12.2 or higher, it's gonna be compatible with your device. All four of these bands have five atmospheres of water resistance. If you're talking about battery life, the Charge 5 will actually give you the best battery life out of the four with about seven days, with the other three coming in at around six. They all have bright AMOLED displays, so you won't have any problem seeing this in sprite sunlight. The only one of these bands that does not have GPS is the Versa 2. It is on sale currently on the website at about $112. I feel like they are gonna be shifting away from this Versa 2 relatively soon. They all do great with your workouts. They give you VO2 maxes, they can go through heart rate variability, and they even could do active zone minutes. And not only that, you can also do a readiness score. The readiness score is built in with Fitbit Premium. So Fitbit Premium is the app that you actually do have to pay a little extra for. You do get six months with the Charge 5, and I believe you get three months with the Versa 3 and the Sense. So this is something to take into account, especially if you're looking for that readiness score. I use my Whoop Band 4.0 to give me an idea of how fatigued I am, and they do charge a monthly fee so the readiness score did recently come out and currently I am testing it so make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll be one of the first ones to know when I bring that video out to let you know what the readiness score is all about and I'll also be doing a deep dive into Fitbit Premium. All three of them have SpO2 sensors and pretty much all of them do have skin temperatures other than the Versa 2 and the Versa 3. They do not have skin temperature built in, but the Sense and the Charge 5 do. If you're looking for ECG to detect things like AFib, it is now available on the Charge 5 and the Sense, but it is not available on the Versa line. One thing you are missing in the Charge 5 is going to be an altometer, so being able to check out the height going up steps and stuff like that. It does check out elevation through the GPS, but if you're looking for an altometer, you need to the Versa series or the Sense. A benefit to getting either the Versa 3, this doesn't come on the Versa 2, and the Sense is you do have Google Assistant or Alexa built in, and you can actually take calls on those with the microphone as well on the Versa 3, and the Sense where you cannot do it on the Versa 2 or the Charge. One thing that you get on the Charge and you also get on the Sense is an EDA scan. So this is an electrodermal activity uh, scanner that's gonna give you a stress level, so you do have to do about 30 seconds kind of holding on to the actual band itself and it's it's something fairly good to kind of get an idea of mindfulness and stuff like that it's going to shoot you at a couple things in the fitbit app to help manage stress so at the end of the day which one should you buy if you're looking for a bigger screen but don't want to pay that much the versa 2 is where it is at it does not have a built-in gps it does not have an ecg or Amazon or Google Assistant built in. But if you are looking for that GPS and a smaller one, I would definitely recommend the Charge. They do say it is gonna be going on sale fairly soon during the Black Friday days, but again, it comes in around $180, where the Fitbit Versa 2 is at around $120 at this shooting. Why would you choose the Versa 3 over the Versa 2? The Versa 3 does have GPS built in. You'll be able to take calls on the actual band. It does have a little bit bigger of a display as well. They also do claim the Versa 3 does have a more advanced heart rate monitor on it as well, so do take that into account. And why would you choose the Sense over the Versa 3? Really, the only thing you do get is the ECG and the EDA, the electrodermal activity sensors built in. And you also get a skin temperature sensor as well, but those are really the only differences between the Versa 3 and the Sense. So if you don't need the ECG, the EDA, or the skin temperature, I would go with the Versa 3. But if you want those extra ones, I would go with the Sense, but it is about $100 more. Well, hopefully this video was helpful for you 
guys. If it was, please smash that like button. If it was really helpful, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you guys will be one of the first ones to know when my newest video comes out. Again, I'm going to be going over things like Fitbit Premium. I'm going to be going over the daily readiness score and stuff like that. So make sure you stay tuned for all of that. And if you're going to be using my links down below, it's going to be shooting you to Amazon. And a little bit of that purchase is going to help me grow my channel. But as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.